Neil Armstrong by Mary Nin. <coughs> Hi, I'm Neil Armstrong, the first man to set foot on the moon. I was born on August 5th, 1930 in Ohio. When I was young, my father took me to air shows and aviation ex- expeditions. I even got to ride on a plane when I was six years old. This helped grow my passionate fascination with flying and exploring exploring the unknown. I love flying so much that I received my flying certificate at age 16 before I can even rec- receive my license to drive a car. Nell, are you sure you don't want to you don't want your driver's license first, son. Flying is more important, Dad. I faced many challenges in my life when I was a Navy pilot during the Korean War. While flying around hills in enemy, in enemy tor- territory, I lost two feet on, on the right wing of my plane. When I ran into a trap, I stayed calm and tried to fly back to friendly territory. The best I could, the best I could, I made the decision to eject myself from the plane and use my parachute. Fortunately, I was rescued by a fellow soldier. After served in the Korean War as a pilot, I went to Purdue University where I studied astronomical engineering while I took flight lessons. After graduation in 1962, I became a test pilot for the National and Diversity Committee of uh, Aerodynamics NSA. N A C A, which later became later became known as become known became the known as NASA. In nineteen sixty six, I was the first civilian astronaut to fly into space as the commander of the Germany. And the mission was aborted when the thruster got stuck. I trained and learned from my mistakes that had been made over time. I became a capsule communicator where I talked to my rookies to rookies on miss on missions and gave guidance from the ground in nineteen sixty six i I was back as commander for Germany to this time. I knew the systems. I knew the systems better than before. Finally, my mission to go to the moon had come. It was me, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. I was nervous. I was nervous when landing. It didn't. Our la- I was nervous when our landing didn't go as planned. I used my flight skills to avoid any harm from the craters near us and in in a timely manner to reduce fuel waste. After walking out onto the moon's surface, I planted the American flag into the ground. It was very cool to be the first moon to step onto, the first man to step onto the moon's surface. That, that's one first One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. While while there, my crew and I spotted, spent over 22 hours 
exploring the moon's surface. When we try to leave and go back home, we noticed that the ignition switch was broken. Fortunately, we found a pen to reach and push the circuit breaker to start the launch. We successfully landed uh, at the spacecraft to Earth. By landing in the Pacific Ocean, shortly after, we were picked up by the Us Us Hornet and kept Hornet and kept in a capsule to quarantine for eighteen days. To celebrate the success of our mission, a parade was held in New York and Chicago. I decided after this that I would never fly to space again, as I had met my goal and I was ready to explore other paths in my life. I became a professor at the University of St. Cancy, where I taught the Department of Astrophysics engineering. It was a strong advocate. I was a strong advocate for space exploration and investigated failed missions. I was appointed to a commission by President Region to develop a plan to improve the American space flight in this 21st century. When I passed away, many of my papers were donated to the university I taught at. My legacy carries on even today. And in my hometown of Wakapanta, you can visit the museum named after me to see uh, all of my life journey. Timeline, 1930. Tavnell is born. 1946, now receives flying certificate, 1962. Now becomes pilot for NASA, 1966. Now completes first space flight, 1969. Now lands on the moon.